Good security on PCs is important, but um, antivirus and anti-spyware uh, solutions can be have a big uh, performance hit on your PCs and run very slowly. So too much can be a bad thing, and it's it's much better really to be more lightweight and uh, and use a little common sense during your web browsing. I can recommend uh, a recently introduced Microsoft product called Security Essentials. Um, which, uh, if you just type uh, Microsoft.com Security Essentials, or you can just simply Google Microsoft Essentials, and that will take you to um, a, a download website where you can just simply click the Download Now button. Uh, you can uh, look at the uh, supporting information or the installation video, but it's it's very very easy to install. Uh, you can select which operating system is yours. Um, if you're using Internet Explorer, th this selection won't even come up. It will know which which version is, is for your PC. Uh, so I recommend you first of all save the file and um, the important thing to do before you actually install uh, the software is to completely uninstall your uh, previous your current uh, antivirus solutions. So uh, go to control panel and select add and remove programs under settings uh, control panel add remove programs and choose to select to remove all antivirus and anti-spyware uh, this is important before you install uh, the uh, Microsoft security essentials sometimes the antivirus software is very reluctant to uninstall and you may have to visit the vendors website in order to find a a suitable removal tool to cleanly remove the software. If Windows warns you that you are unprotected, don't worry, that, that is a, a good sign. Just uh, you'll probably have to reboot the PC um, after uninstalling your current uh, antivirus solution and uh, run the Microsoft installation process by double clicking the icon which you've, uh, the program you've just saved. Uh, I've already installed it on this particular computer so it will show you the um, uh, warning to say so. The um, uh, after installation is complete, you'll add a little icon in the taskbar showing you a little green house, which is a good sign. If that house turns red, that means you've got a, a problem that needs to be resolved. Uh, I'll show you the interface. It's uh, one thing that's notable is it's nice and clean interface. It's nicely tightly integrated into the Windows operating system. It uses the same update mechanism as for your Microsoft monthly updates, so uh, you don't uh, waste any resources having additional update services running for third-party software. I'll just uh, go through the tabs to show the settings. You can see very easy to use interface, uncluttered looking. Here is a little uh, a Trojan hoax I've managed to pick up during browsing. Um, here are the settings. Um, I actually recommend perhaps it's an overkill to do a daily or weekly full disk um, scan so I usually un uh, untick that option and just uh, uh, run the uh, scheduled scan whenever uh, I don't run any scheduled scan I just run the um, scan when I feel like it uh, from time to time. So as a final check, just head off for control panel again and just have a look at your security center and just make sure that all three items, your, your firewall, your um, automatic updates and your virus protection are all in the green. Um, if it was a security suite you've uninstalled, you may have to re-enable your, your Windows firewall um, to make sure you're fully protected. So uh, stay safe till next time.